right guys, welcome to this week's Whatever Wednesdays and this week's Whatever Wednesdays is an extra special episode because there is a guy I know called Trent who watches these videos. I don't know why but he watches them. Um, anyway, listen, Trent has been having a really difficult time lately. He's been fighting a long battle against cancer and the last few weeks he's had a few appointments and things haven't been going so great he's having a bit of a tough time and I thought you know what if he watches these videos let's make a video just for Trent so Trent buddy this one is for you um, we asked Trent what would you like me to make a video about I can make a video about maybe the gateway of India or I can make a video about the Taj Palace Hotel or anything here in Mumbai where I am right now um, but he wasn't interested in all that, he was interested in me being British. So Trent asked me to make a video about some funny British sayings or some funny British phrases. So Trent, this video is for you. I have 10 ridiculous British phrases that I'm going to explain to you guys right now. Okay. So I'm going to have to read these off my phone because, uh, actually I won't. I'm going to do that. Okay, British phrase number one. Having a laugh. If someone is joking, if someone says something and it's a bit unbelievable, you say, are you having a laugh? But you don't just say, are you having a laugh? Because we're British and we have rhyming slang. Rhyming slang means that you say something which sounds like the word you're trying to say. Good example is this one. Are you having a laugh? It means, are you joking? But we don't say that. We say, are you having a giraffe? Are you having a giraffe? It means, are you having a laugh? Are you joking? Are you being serious? But that's not the only one. We also say, are you having a bath? Are you having a bath? Or they even elaborate on that and they say, are you having a bubble bath? Really? Are you having a, are you having a bubble bath? But they don't say bubble bath or they don't say giraffe. They say, are you having a bubble? And they say, all right, mate, are you having a bubble? Are you serious? Are you for real? Are you having a bubble? And it means are you having a bubble bath? Are you having a laugh? And number two is laughing gear. We call this mm, laughing gear. It's the gear which you laugh with. It's your mouth, your laughing gear. So you might say, cool, that looks like a nice bit of food. Get your laughing gear around that. And that's what it means, laughing gear. Number three is blinding. Blinding, it's kind of like you say, cool, that's blinding, mate. Or if someone like scores a really good goal in football, because we're a football nation, right? Someone scores a really cool goal, cool, that was a blinding goal. David Beckham came down the wing and he got such a good goal, he blinded, cool, he played a blinder tonight. Blinding you. Uh, so yeah, something blinding is blinding. Blinding, blinding, I don't know. If you, any doubt, ask Stevie Wonder. I'm kidding, hi Stevie. Right, okay. Number four, Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle means like, and there you go, there you have it, that is done. If you were to say, how do you make like a vegan cheeseburger? I say, well, you need vegan cheese, but you also need to get a vegan patty. You can make your own vegan patty, you can maybe get some chickpeas and some pulses and kind of blend that stuff together, and you fry it with some vegan cheese, put it in a bun, Bob's your uncle. And we might even change it, we might say, there you go, yeah, all you gotta do is you just go online, and you book your flights, get on the plane, end up in India, and Bob's your father's brother. Which means the same thing. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your father's brother, mate. Bob's your uncle. That's what it is. So when you want to do something, and that's how you do it, Bob's your uncle. <clears throat> the next one, number five, is a slightly obscure one. It's called brass monkeys. If it's really cold outside, and in England it's cold a lot, so cold you get like kind of nipples like missiles, you might say, of course, brass monkeys outside, core. And what that means is it's so cold, it could freeze the balls off a brass monkey. And that's it, so number five, brass monkeys, very cold. Number six, number six. This one is called butcher's, or butcher's hook. This is one of my personal favorites. When you wanna go and have a look at something, or if you say to someone, hey, do you watch this video? They might say, oh no, I'll have a butcher's at that later. And they say, huh, have a butcher's? What do you mean? Well, rhyming slang again. Having a look, having a butcher's hook. I've got no idea where it came from. We just say it, but we don't say butcher's hook because that's too long, so we shorten it to butchers. So in fact, the rhyming slang, the rhyming part of hook, doesn't even get used because we're British and confusing and a pain in the ass. Having a butcher's, having a look. I don't know, this one. All right, number seven, geezer. If you're a geezer, it means you're a man, you're a dude. In America, the closest thing is dude, but dude to me has connotations of being like a surfer or some, you know, fool in a hat with long hair. Um, but a geezer is like a geezer, Whoa. It's like maybe someone from the east side of London who's very dapper, suited and booted, wears a nice kind of like shirt, tie, suit combo, suave hair, very sophisticated, cool guy, successful. He's a geezer. And he's not just a geezer, he's a proper geezer. He's a proper geezer, that one. It's kind of like, it's not just someone who's a guy or someone who's a bit cool. Geezer. Uh, 
Number eight is one of the more gentle English phrases. It's also quite ridiculous. If you're gonna make a phone call, if you're gonna say to someone, hey, could you call me later? We don't just say, can you call me later? Because we're British. So we would say, yeah, give me a tinkle on the blower. Give me a tinkle on the blower. Give me a tinkle on the blower. What does that mean? Tinkle means like for the phone to ring and blower, the blower. So the handset is the blower. And it comes, I think, from an old time when in uh, trading ships and, and sailing boats and stuff, they used to use what they used to call a blower to kind of shout down there to make a noise at the end uh, down in the cabins below for people to hear it. So it's the blower. And then if you're gonna use the blower to call someone, you make the phone ring. So it's like, give me a tinkle on the blower. Give me a tinkle on the blower. And we're sure not a lot of the time say, oh yeah, you're gonna call me, oh yeah, give me a tinkle later. Give me a tinkle. There you go. Number, oh, this is my favorite. <coughs> so Trent, this is a good one. You can use this next month. Do it to your family and your friends. Number nine, pinch, punch, first day of the month. Pinch, punch, first day of the month. When it is the first day of the month, what you can do in England is we say pinch, punch, first day of the month. You go up to someone, it's like, you know, April the 1st, you pinch them, you can punch them, and you say pinch, punch, first day of the month, and you can get away with it. However, there are rules to the game, because you have to say, and no returns. Because if you say, and no returns, no one is allowed to hurt you. And they just won't, because what they do is just like, we're British and it's really wrong. It's very impolite. Um, however, if you go up to someone and you say, pinch, punch, first day of the month, and you don't say anything, they can go slap and a kick for being so quick, and they get you back. So you can go pinch, punch, first day of the month, but always remember, and no returns. All right, number 10. This is the last one for today. So the last 10 British phrase I would say today, which I quite like, in the 1960s, a UK male vocalist, quite famous in Britain, I'm not so sure in America or wherever, but he's quite a famous guy called Cliff Richard. He was a 60s vocalist and he went all the way through, I think maybe still around now, whatever, I don't think he died, I don't know, whatever, anyway, he's very famous. But he sung in a band called The Shadows. There was a guitar player in the 60s band called The Shadows, and he was called Hank Marvin. Now, Hank Marvin has become slang for starving. If you're hungry, we don't just say, oh, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry, what am I gonna eat? We say, cool, I'm proper Hank Marvin, I'm Hank. So Hank Marvin, this guy from this Shadows guitar band of the 60s has become the term for an unlikely way of saying I'm damn hungry. Okay guys, so that's it for this week's Whatever Wednesdays. There's 10 ridiculous uh, British sayings or phrases. Uh, Trent, that video is for you buddy. I wish you every success and every luck and love and everything I can give you in your fight against cancer, dude. You're doing so well already. I hear many stories about how you're doing so good and you're keeping your spirits high. Best of luck, buddy. If you want me to make any videos for you, just name it, drop me a message, I'll make them for you. Anyone else watching this video, if you could leave Trent some well wishes, or even better, some funny jokes or whatever, say hello to him in the comments below, that'd be great. Meantime, guys, uh, I'll check you guys next week for whatever Wednesdays. If you like this video, hit the like. If you wanna leave a comment, leave a comment, but leave it for Trent, not for me this time. And if you wanna watch more of these videos and random things, then hit the subscribe. Until then, I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.